Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toasty Bros. And every so often, we like to check out an absolutely insane laptop and the Asus Scar ROG Strix will not let us down today. And Micro Center was nice enough to sponsor this showcase of this beautiful laptop. They were like, hey Toasty Bros, you guys like laptops, we wanna send you a crazy one to showcase here on the channel and sponsor the video. So big thanks again to them for making it possible. And uh, yeah, this thing has a 3070 Ti and i9, 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, 1440p, 240 hertz screen. This thing is absolutely crazy and it's probably better than your gaming PC. Yeah, it probably is. Let's not waste any more time and open this thing up. Before we open this laptop, I have to give a big thanks to Micro Center for sponsoring this video. They're running an awesome promo right now where a new customer can get $25 off a purchase of any AMD or Intel processor. Micro Center is one of the best places to shop for PC hardware. It's honestly a tech heaven and Micro Center also offers 30,000 items in stock. We love going to Micro Center every chance we can get because of all the selection they have and we always build PCs when we're nearby a Micro Center. It's absolutely great. And definitely check those links down below to cash in on that beautiful promo for $25 off an AMD or Intel processor. And big thanks again to Micro Center for sponsoring this video. Let's open this laptop. So this right here, we have not actually had the pleasure to actually ever do a review on an Asus ROG Strix SCAR Edition laptop. I'm very excited. I'm also a little bit depressed because this is such a good price. I mean, 2,200 bucks and probably dropping. Um, by the time this video goes live, who knows? It might be like $500. Just kidding, it will not be that cheap. But I mean, hey, look at the display here. It actually lifts up with the actual box. I love when manufacturers go all out with stuff like that. Right away, we get to go straight into this laptop, but I got I to gotta keep you all patient. We got to make sure that there's nothing else cool in this box. So it looks like we get a Massive. really big old power brick and let's see, 280 watts. Oh. Quite a bit of wattage. I mean, no, that's a lot of wattage for a laptop. It's pretty yeah. crazy. I was, I was going to probably be like, oh, that's not that much. And I was like, no, for a laptop, it's pretty crazy. But obviously when you're pushing i9 and an RTX 3070 Ti, you need a lot of wattage. All right, so nothing in there. And then it looks like we get like an instruct. Oh, no, there is some other cool stuff in here. Um, I'm going to assume it's like our warranty card. You know, the stuff that's not that fun. I mean, yeah, warranty card. I always get excited about stuff like this. Oh, that is crazy that's looking. Strap. Yeah, does it like light up or something? It almost looks like there's like a like an I like a chip in there, like an I integrated circuit or I have something. I have no idea what that, that is. That is a fancy freaking like key holder though. Super cool. Whoa, hold up. Oh, wait, is it a flash drive? Unless the pins are covered, like... What is that? I'm not, we're gonna come back. To I don't know what that is. We yeah. will never know. We'll Someone in the comments know. will tell us what it is, right? Yeah, hopefully. I, yeah, I mean, it, it would seem like a flash drive. I just don't know why the, if it is, why the pins would be covered, so... This Asus, this what are you doing is, like, with these crazy things? Never ending, dude. I'm, like, scared. Okay. Looks like that's pretty much it. Oh! Oh, they're different covers. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay. We've gotten past all the frills, you know, cool unboxing experience though. And this is like the type of box like I would almost put on display. So I guess let's go ahead and kind of get this thing unwrapped because I can't really show you guys much with all this plastic over it. And this is something that you really want to see on higher end laptops. Most laptops that are like sub $1,000, they don't have any plastic over them. They kind of just come as is. But yeah, that's super cool looking dude, that's crazy. And so let's go over that side real quick. Oh, I think I found where our thing goes. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay, there's no way it could be like a storage device that uses NFC. It's magnetic. Bro, Bro, I don't know what it is, but I'm so excited. Okay, all right. So on that side, this is, I think, all we have. Um, is it like a barcode scanner? Like, I, I was onto something. It is, in fact, a near-field communication device, and it looks like it gets really nerdy. I, I don't know, I could be totally wrong, but it kind of gives me like, if you guys know about the Dodge Hellcat, right? For the Dodge Hellcat, you get a red key, you get a black key, right? The black key is kind of like the valet key. You only get a certain amount of horsepower. The red key is like, hey, you get the full 707 horsepower. So they're saying you plug in this, um, oh my God, is it glowing? Uh, you <laughs> plug in this little device here and it's called the Keystone and it like unlocks features. So I don't know, maybe it unlocks some overclocking ability or something like that. We'll find out. It doesn't really give you a whole lot. But anyways, on this side, we have nothing. We just got, we got our little Keystone. On the front, of course, pretty much nothing. Looks like this is all going to be RGB. On the side here, we have a combo headphone jack. We have two USB, I assume to be 3.2 because you got the SS on them. And then I always love laptops that do this. On the back, almost in docking station style, we have our charging port, we have an ethernet port, we have two USB-Cs, and then we also have a HDMI out. So in theory, you could have three monitors hooked up to this, including this one, so four. Oh, in the goodness. Oh, dude, that is crazy. So they went for like, you had this kind of off, like I would almost say gray, like matte finish. And then halfway through here, they actually cleared 
the actual backplate to where you can see inside of the laptop. I, dude, I gotta plug this thing in because I feel like with the lighting on, it's gonna, really it's gonna be absolutely insane. And I think it, I think it's crazy that this is my next laptop. <laughs> it's like, this is mine. <laughs> but yeah, definitely looking good. You know, I've actually been a, I've been on Asus for a while now. I, I, I can already tell this, the lighting's gonna be like insane on this thing. You ready? Oh, 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 Lordy, look at this. Stop, I'm going bust. The RGB up front. Oh, oh it's going sick. So on. I can already tell that you get a slight, like you can, I don't know if you can see it with the camera. You can see all the numbers here. Yes. So you basically get a full number pad with that. I think and because of how this number really lock good. is lit up, I would not be surprised if this can also be ability to light up. God, I love the way the Asus stuff turns on. It's so epic. But yeah, so like Matt said, we have a 1440p QHD 240 hertz screen. IPS, I'm sure it absolutely is going to look beautiful. It actually has liquid metal. They actually advertise that there. I'm sure they actually apply it properly. Now, of course, you do have your iGPU with that 12900, but you also get your RTX 3070 Ti in here as well. On top of that, crazy to see DDR5 and they went dual channel with it. So two 16 gig sticks and it's a good speed. Like they didn't really cut any, they did not do any shortcuts in this laptop. They made sure to make everything good. And I also love these hinges. I actually like feel the sturdiness of that. That's not the wobbly wobbly like that you're used to. It, it, you can do it one hand, so like your yeah. laptop's not like pulling up on you. You know, yep. it's, like, it's premium. It's nice. Pretty nice. Well, I mean, dude, so far I am for the price of, because we checked out a was it a Zephyrus that had the dual screen? Yes. Or is that something? I don't know. Anyways, that laptop I feel like was like thirty five hundred four grand, and I mean the specs were really good, but it did not have the absolute just insane look and all of just the small features and attention to detail that this one has. So awesome job, Asus. Big Thanks for Micro Center once again for getting this over. But I think at this point we need to download some game. Um, I don't know anything that this thing is not going to run. Absolutely amazing. So Matt will have to try to find something. All right, guys, we are kicking off the benchmarks on this beautiful Scar laptop with Apex Legends, of course. We're running a mixture of pretty much medium, some high settings because we were trying to see how close we could get to uh, 240, but this is a AAA title. So naturally it might be a little bit hard to do that. And it's a 1440p screen. It is so. a 1440p screen. Looks so we're very, very sharp, but it is harder to run. Definitely pushing it with this. Oh, oh. man. Ah, oh, the jump strat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, currently we're running a, yeah, I mean, we still got some like high and mostly medium though, a couple of lows. Yeah, I mean, in all honesty, I, I feel like if we were to lower the settings to like low, I don't feel like we'd get much more FPS because it's got, like the kind of game where it just, you know, runs or it doesn't pretty much. Hopefully that makes sense. Maybe it doesn't. It's very blah, blah. Oh! I can already feel like Gibby has his ult again. I need to crack one of them and then just run in there full. So I, I got one. They're all, are they all about to like just play in this back corner now? They might. Pick me again. Little babies. All right, I'm getting in there. Oh no. Uh, there's one more. Finish oh, him. I didn't the get to champion. Hit him. Look at I the didn't Apex get to champion. Hit him. But yeah, Apex one victory again. It's a slightly harder AAA title to run, but you still get a higher refresh rate experience at 1440p, and it looks pretty beautiful. So let's try another game. All right, guys, we are now in Warzone, and we're gonna take advantage of DLSS, which basically takes this native resolution of 1440p, drops it down to a lower res, and upscales it back up so you can get basically free performance using a video graphics card. And uh, yeah, we're getting about 100 FPS in warmups right now. We'll see what it actually is when we land, but look at that RAM usage, 16 gigs. Warzone will eat up all the RAM you'll give it, and uh, we'll see if that gets any higher as we continue to play. And we're at 100 FPS. Can't complain about those numbers. Warzone eats all the RAM you give it and will still ask for more. You'd be like, can I have more oh. than 100? Ah! Oh! Where, oh. Wha, wha, oh. where was he? Warzone without headphones, man. The audio is already <laughs> awful and not being able to hear anything. It's just, it's such a good time. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? What? I think you should Oh. This is one of the reasons I don't like Warzone 2. It's just, it's too freaking oh hard. Oh my for. lord. I didn't have a chance to react, but the performance. Hey, if you're actually good at Warzone, I mean, you got the performance to work with here. And we got only up to 17 gigs of RAM being used. So yeah, definitely, definitely a good thing this comes to 32. Let's move on to the next game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are playing Cyberpunk and we are on a mixture of medium high settings, 1440p. And we are getting, well, 
Now we're getting about 85 FPS in the car. All right, we're gonna really gently run people over. Is it effing I've kind of just told him to do whatever in Cyberpunk and he's gonna do oh. whatever. Oh, no, we got the police coming after you What did you I now. do? Oh, I, I think I hit his ankle. Uh, Wait, you... That killed him? Oh, he's not dead. Now he's dead. <laughs> All right. All right, so we're just gonna we're gonna take this real smooth. You know, we don't want to cause we don't want to <laughs> we don't want to cause any havoc. Man, driving in this is crazy feeling. It's kind of fun. Oh man. Oh no. He's choosing violence. No, I'm not, dude. These people are in the road. All right, well, we're gonna go. We're gonna lose the cause because if there's anything I know how to do, it's the five star challenge. Yeah, in different areas, the FPS gets all the way up to 90. We are using DLSS on balance mode. You could go quality if you want to boost that up. But again, all these games are playing at 1440p. Most laptops are 1080p. So this is definitely gonna add more of a performance demand. I think you changed areas. And <laughs> wait, what just happened? What? Dude, it just said there's no nothing around here for you and then I was off the bridge. Oh wow, my car is is gone for. Done. But hey, FPS wise we're looking good around 100 give or take, especially when we're not driving <laughs> and you know running over people, but I just love how they just flail their hands. Yeah, around. I know it's really weird. Mm, not very it's not, cool. It's not very cool. I got some of the cars did the same. Now this one, this one looks pretty cool. I can't. <laughs> um oh, oh now Oh, oh, he, he, oh, he's, oh, he's, oh, oh my <laughs> God. What is that? Give me that. Why did it open like a Lambo? It's a smart car looking thing. Oh. <laughs> Dude, this is so hard to control. <laughs> oh. oh my, oh, oh, we can squeeze, we can squeeze. 92 FPS, let's keep it up. Okay, I can't <laughs> see what I'm doing. So what's the lore behind this game, Matt? Tell me. It's a futuristic city where there's a lot of crime going on. And what's your job? Oh, these you're, are cops. You're a, you're a street kid, so you do a lot of like breaking and entering. You do a lot of hits and... Oh, so you, bad things? Yes, bad things. So you can pick certain roles when oh, you start it off. Oh, and no, I chose street. Oh, you're just not allowed to go that way and the cops are going to take you out. This is the way that I should die, I guess. Is the screen flashing me like I'm dying? Oh, I died. Oh, and there's that. There you go. Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. More than playable. For a really, really high-end game, you can get flat. Lined. Let's try our last game. All right, guys, we are now in God of War high settings 1440p and one this game looks absolutely great. I mean, it's very pretty to look at and it's going to be very demanding to run. Um, but getting 60 plus FPS around 80. One thing I did realize is with the 3070 Ti, for some reason, in some laptops, MSI Aftermath does not like to pick up the right GPU because this does have Iris graphics on that i9. So that usage you're seeing is actually the um, Iris graphics, not the actual GPU. So obviously this is maxing out at 100% with a 3070 Ti, but um, just want to let you all know that those numbers are off and that's probably why you're not seeing it right. This is Matt in real life. He can this do this. That's what I do. I do this stuff. Some would say I'm naturally strong. How long do I have to push this? 10 hours why, later. Why isn't she doing anything? I'm the muscle in this situation. Dude, her little kid's just sitting on the side there like, yeah, you can keep going. See, this is real life. Matt would need a nap after that. Nothing opens easy. <laughs> <laughs> it requires extreme strength for everything. This room is like the most demanding room in the game. I don't know if it's just the lighting or what, but like... It just drops the FPS, but it looks like it's holding, so I'm happy with it. He said, how you looking? Leave me be. Give me back my axe. <laughs> he was stuck in his noggin. Action! <laughs> what are you gonna do? Take it. KO. I guess that's where I stop. But yeah, God of War actually got some gameplay and it performs pretty well, can't complain. Overall, again, this is a high-end laptop and at, with a 1440p screen, you really can't complain about the performance you're getting. And it'd be great for content creation, live streaming, and a bunch of other stuff as well with that i9-12900H. So yeah, we'll like this laptop. We'll drop this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this SCAR laptop. And yeah, I mean, it worked really well. When you're spending that kind of money on a gaming laptop, you probably hope that it works really well. You also hope that it doesn't overheat. And we were on a flat surface the whole time. We did not have any overheating. It definitely, it gets hot. I mean, it's a 3070 Ti with an i9. You kind of have to expect such a small package with such high performance to get hot, but it never really uh, burns or anything. And surprisingly, the part where you rest your palm didn't get hot. So overall, this is a very awesome, very, enthusiast laptop. There's a lot of people out there who may or not want to spend this kind of money, but if you are somebody who wants a crazy RGB laptop and has really awesome build quality and just some crazy cool features, then definitely check the link down below. And special thanks again to Micro Center for sponsoring this showcase of this beautiful laptop. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. 
So in case you guys didn't know, we do have social media that we regularly use. So Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, even TikTok, and we upload daily to those. So this laptop, you would have already known about this if you had followed us on Instagram and Twitter. And you would have gotten a sneak peek at getting a $1 computer that we posted about, and you all just may have missed it because you weren't there. So yeah, follow our social media, link down below. See you guys later, goodbye.